if you go to a concert that you have referred to, it's not uncommon that it's between 110 and 120 decibel. And jet engine is around 140 decibel. And the loudest noise level ever achieved at a football stadium was in Kansas City, and it was 142 decibel. That is deafening. Literally it's deafening? Literally deafening. Because it's, again, a logarithmic scale. So for every three decibel increase in sound intensity, you have to half the time exposure that's safe. So now back to your question, what is safe? Roughly speaking, 80 decibel is fine for eight hours. But for any three decibel increase, you have to half it, which means 83 decibel is okay for four hours, 86 for two hours, 89 for one hour, 92 for half an hour. Well, most of music concerts that use amplified music are above 92 decibel. But it's not that everyone develops hearing loss, and it's not that we have to stop enjoying music concerts at all. It's just that we have to take precautionary measures. First of all, why does music have to be that loud? It's kind of a peer pressure phenomenon because most people don't even enjoy it when it's that loud, but they feel like they should because somehow it's a kind of being youthful. I have an idea, uh -huh. but it's just a speculation. Part of it, I think, is to drown out um, other sounds in the crowd mm -hmm. in the same way that if you uh, go to a party and they dim the lights on the dance floor, uh, partially because of uh, people's self-consciousness, but uh, you know, you're, you're, people are more likely to dance when they're not every like movement of the dance is being detected, right? Then bright lights, in a, like when the lights come up at the end of a, a night of dancing or bar, you kind of feel like, okay, party's over, yeah. <laughs> right? And that's what they're trying to signal. So part of it is probably to drown out the micro conversations um, going around. And I think the other part is that um, I do think that like with highly palatable food, uh, it you know there's been this sort of drift of setting higher and higher thresholds of what's normal, and that people many times go to concerts because they want to feel the music at the level of an intense sound wave, especially you know like I mean if you live in California, probably anywhere in the country, but you're familiar with someone pulling up next to you and and really blasting the bass in their car, and your whole car is shaking, and they're obviously enjoying it, and to you it's aversive, or you like it depending on who you are.